Life is wonderful, full of hopes and dreams, milestones and memories. But as fall turns to winter, sometimes all many have to keep them company are those memories. Loved ones are gone. Friends have grown more distant. Sons and daughters have other obligations. Loneliness, isolation, depression are their only company. Each and every day in nursing homes and special care facilities around this great country, elderly men and women are struggling to feel some value in their lives. And many of these older Americans have become physically disabled, and I tell you, they really feel disconnected from their family, from their friends, and even from their own churches. Sometimes their families just get too busy. Sometimes they don't care. And sometimes the disease progress of aging makes these people unpleasant to be around. It's just the sad fact. It takes a certain amount of grace to want to be with people in their later years. You're watching someone at the end of their life, and that's hard to do, and sometimes we don't like to face that reality. You know, Jesus tells us in Matthew that we should love our neighbor, and that that's the second greatest commandment after loving him with all of our heart. And so we have these neighbors that are unseen, that people don't realize just in our hectic life as we're so focused on ourselves and what our family's doing and what our church is doing that there's a group of people that don't have that kind of contact. These are the forgotten people of our culture and they need to know that God loves them and cares about them, especially in their senior years. But they, they've contributed a whole lot to the world and still in many ways contribute too. I see a tremendous opportunity to reach out and minister to them, and their number is increasing dramatically. In fact, between 2010 and 2030, the number of people 65 and up will increase from 35 to 70.1 million persons in our country alone. So the numbers are increasing greatly. Elder Source Senior Ministry is attempting to do what it can to reach out to senior adults, to minister to them and to seek ministry by them to churches. Since 1979, the Elder Source Senior Ministries has been working with local churches, schools, assisted care facilities, and the business community to help meet the needs of the forgotten elderly. Elder Source is doing something that I don't think anybody else has even touched. They're offering materials so that people who are in a position of leadership in these facilities can do something with seniors to help expose them to the gospel and give them worship materials and Bible study materials that are appropriate for them, that are enjoyable for them to use, and that uh, it's meaningful. Through a growing network of churches, businesses, and volunteer organizations, my friends at Elder Source are helping to bring communities and generations together through the day-to-day -day demonstration of God's love in action. We're going to have some devotion and we're going to sing a little bit with Howard. If I would visit a member in an assisted living in another city. And when I'd go in there, there was a man who sat at the front door and he had a badge on and said, Sheriff. And a lot of people walked on by and thought he was, had some dementia or something. He was lonely. And I got to sit and talking with him and uh, realized then a, a whole lot that a lot of these folks are lonely. Okay, I'm going to read the, read the kids' green eggs and ham, and then Anna is going to read a story for us. It's just a joy. It's a joy to see the people, and it's a joy to watch my children interact with people, and they don't get this opportunity to be with the elderly, really, in anything else that we do in our lives. And so we've adopted someone, Miss Ann, who we come and visit every week for, it really only takes a short time. We only are here for about 30 or 45 minutes. Sam, I am. These are the people that, you know, have raised us that have been a part of the generation before and have given their hearts and their lives for us and that we shouldn't just forget them, that they shouldn't be left to spend their end days alone and without anyone to appreciate them and to let them know that they're special and that their life was worthwhile. And by just being present, it really lets them know that God created them for a purpose and that they still have a purpose, even in their old age. 
There's a satisfaction that comes from working with senior adults that nothing else touches. The satisfaction that comes is knowing that you've done something that really made somebody's day. You let somebody know that they're being thought of, cared for, and loved. You let somebody know that you're praying for them, that you're supporting them, encouraging them, working on their behalf. And there's somebody there that's going to remember your name. And the next time you walk in, their smile will light up the room. Bright, shining. I, I get a lot of reward out of just the thank yous I get uh, from the residents here. And uh, Yesterday I encountered a lady who was distraught over several things, and she's in a lot of physical pain. Uh, I took her back to her room and sat and talked with her for a little while, and she calmed down, and um, after talking with her, she was she was so thankful and said, you know, we're so glad you're here. And, uh, it's important that we have a chaplain here, and uh, that is fulfilling. To, to know I can make a difference in somebody else's life. If you have something like Elder Source that can connect you to the elderly community with ease, then it gives you that opportunity to step in without having to initiate all on your own because that can be frightening at times, it can feel overwhelming. And so you have a bridge or a connection to the community that allows you to step in and contribute. What would Jesus do if he were here? Would he ever dream of excluding these people from his ministry because they're old? Would he exclude anybody because they're infirm? We ask that question because we're going to be there soon, every one of us. We're just around the corner from it. And I think we can expect to receive something similar to what we've given. And I think there's a lot of, a lot of folks who can give their time as volunteers to assist with different things. Uh, with activities in the assisted living or uh, assist with worship services. Uh, depends on where their gifts may lie, but uh, I think anybody who comes and gets involved uh, really gets more out of it than they give. So I encourage you to contact the Elder Source Senior Ministries and see how you might be involved in reaching out to this wonderful group of people, growing in numbers every day but in desperate need of churches and persons to minister to them and to share with them the good news. If you can't do a lot, do what you can. If you can't do it often, do it when you can. Make it a point to be committed to loving the whole church of God, wherever they are and whatever their age may be. Yes, Jesus loves me. Whether it's recruiting and training chaplains or distributing audio Bibles and related materials, or coordinating school-based programs to connect students, young students with seniors, isn't that a great idea? Or one of its many other programs, Elder Source Senior Ministries is a beautiful example of Isaiah 35, verse three, which says, quote, strengthen the feeble hands, steady the knees that give way, and say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear, your God will come. He will come to save you. With the wealth of wisdom and experience, seniors are a valuable resource for all aspects of our society, a resource that should not be wasted by allowing them to sit on the sidelines. That's not right. They deserve better. They deserve to know that God has an important plan and purpose for their lives, and He loves them unconditionally. That's the mission of Elder Source Senior Ministries, and what a mission it is. To find out how you can help, contact Elder Source today and make a difference that counts. To learn more about how you can help, please contact Elder Source Senior Ministries at 1-866-827-2710 or log on to www.eldersourceinfo.org.